Game on. We are once again talking about the numbers with Michael Van Gerwen. Three times a champion in Gibraltar. Three 59. times a winner on the European Tour this year. And maybe, just maybe, Mark Webster all adding up towards another. Only having three, only having three. I know we'll still bug Michael Van Gerwen, but he'll be the man to stop at the back end of the year in all the majors. 41. Yeah, he's got the Premier League under his belt. He's got the World Grand Prix. The World Match Play, of course, came in the summer as well. It's a, a holy trinity of sorts, but it'll want more. And I think it all does 56. lead to Alexandra Palace in London in December and January, you assume, as well. Real turning point, the World Match Play was for me, Michael Van Gerwen, because just worked his way into the event. He, he wasn't great in his opening round. His Adrian Lewis got the job done. Wasn't great against Cullen. Got the job done. Raced out against Aspen was pegged back. Dimitri wasn't his best, but when it came to producing his best performance, was when he needed it, against Gedwin Price, who was the main man that week, until Michael Van Gerwen defeated him to lift the title. 60. Michael, you require 66. Well, De Souza can treat this as a, a settling in exercise, I suppose, on the uh, MVG throw. 16 for tops here. MVG, 66 check out that is an 18 dance holder throw. Uh, they're the sorts of legs where Jose has to make his move because you look at what MVG did yesterday when he averaged 106 against Steve Beaton. 100. Beaton was having a little bit of joy when Van Gerwen, on the rare occasion, he was having those relative off legs. Yeah. You make a good point, actually, Rob. Yeah, if, if Michael Van Gerwen's got 18 dart legs, six visit legs, you, you've got to be making an impact, haven't you? First one come and gone, but the Souza that represents a real chance against Michael. 100. You mentioned that um, encounter they had in the final of the European Darts Grand Prix in Sindelfingen in 2020. 95. The Souza won his first and so far only European Tour title. They have met on the European Tour before, and it was here in Gibraltar on this stage, in fact, three years ago, just over three years ago now. 96. Second round match. And MVG won that one as well by six legs to three. But De Souza has beaten MVG three times in his career. The other two victories come in, in the Players' Championship. But the uh, most recent was in a final in June of 2021. The first, or the only title that he picked up in the... Well, the only match that he won against MVG of 100. five that he played that year. Yeah, they've only played once this year. I, I commented on that game. The semi-final, Michael Van Gerwen. Went on to win the tournament, beat Peter Wright, and finally he was 6-3 down to Jose de Souza in that semi-final. He won 7-6, and it's just Jose more evidence that Michael Van Gaal, when it's not going his way, has found that ability. See, he's found a way to dig in again. I'm saying this if he never had that, but it, it sort of disappeared for a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. But he's got, I think he's just got a real relaxed attitude now. He was in good 49. spirits last week Michael, you require in and around the event, around the hotel in Leicester. I'm not massively obsessed with big averages and big finishes, but could be the first big strike here. This is the ball. Just wants to win. Yeah, do you know what? I mean, I don't know for a fact, and well, I'll talk about this just to see if DeSouza can take this out. He's found the second But I mean, when he looks back on his career, or even when he looks back in, say, five or ten years' time, and he'll, he'll look back on that relative lull, as you said. I think maybe he'll take stock and maybe he'll appreciate the fact that he was able to just have a bit of time away 100. from COVID and have time with his family as well and just give him that opportunity to reset a little bit as well because it, you know, you couldn't have expected Van Gerwen to maintain the standards that he was setting back. Maybe just maybe having had that break where he, he went off the boil a little bit with the darts that he did play. Chance to have some time with his young family, come back and go again. There was a big change as well when he, was, he changed 100. manufacturers and signed with Winmore and you, you, you went straight in with new equipment and he, he's got there now and uh, producing the darts that we know he can. And he was still carving out a brilliant career for himself in those two years, but unfortunately he's set such high standards, Michael Van Gerwen, and every event, if he doesn't win, is a failure. So yeah. he has to deal with that. And he has too much for Jose de Souza. He's into the quarterfinals. Decent run for Jose again. He'll be looking for big end Still needs to force his way into the Grand Slam qualifiers. But for Michael Van Gerwen, He's into a 